everyone, Dr. Susan Brown with Alkaline for Life. Just a, last week, I returned from the American College of Nutrition annual conference in San Diego. This year, what all these authorities were talking about is toxins in the environment and how to detoxify all the many poisons we're surrounded by. In fact, their conclusion is that we're actually swimming in a vast sea of chemicals and it's really challenging the body to be able to detoxify these whether they're plastics whether they're pesticides whether they're benzene and solvents so many chemicals as a matter of fact the statistics i see are that 80,000 chemicals are produced in the u.s each year 80,000. the epa has only required testing of 200 of these 80,000, and only five have been regulated every man woman and child carries with them a plethora of synthetic chemicals, many of them which are known carcinogens. For example, exposure begins pre-birth, and it's pretty startling that a newborn baby has 287 known toxins in their umbilical cord. So even before we're born, we're exposed to these toxins. We need to start thinking, and we're all thinking, how do I handle these? How am I going to deal with this? Some of us notice, we see I get headaches around perfumes. I get headaches when I pump gasoline. Some people notice more than others, but if you notice it or not, every molecule you breathe is going into the body, and the body, body must detoxify that. At these meetings, they were talking about various ways to enhance detoxification, and the one that's most striking to me relates to all form of toxins, but particularly to air pollution. If you're following the papers, you'll see today that all over the world, there's a growing concern with air pollution. And in many cities around the world, there's a daily alert, whether it's safe to go outside and breathe the air or not. It's becoming a very serious crisis. And so if we think, well, we want to help reduce the production of toxins, but also we should take some steps to protect ourselves. So what I'm going to share with you is a very simple procedure which involves using vitamin C. As I've explained over and over again, vitamin C is the number one antioxidant in the body. It even sacrifices itself to regenerate other antioxidants like glutathione and even vitamin E. And that the damage from these pollutants is largely oxidative damage, free radicals that are created in our body when our body tries to deal with pesticides or benzene or all these plasticizers. So we need a high level of antioxidants. I was looking at the research on how do we deal with air pollution because it's striking to me these alerts that come from all over the world about the dangers of air pollution. And I saw several studies indeed reinforcing uh, this idea that vitamin C may lessen the effects of air pollution. And this is looking at people who have asthma, COPD, people who have to go to the hospital, for example, for breathing problems. They found that those people with higher blood levels of vitamin C, those people did not go to the hospital as much for problems exposed uh, with breathing problems from, from, from air pollution. Having a higher level of vitamin C in the body makes you less vulnerable to the air pollution, protects your lungs and your whole body better. There's several articles, other articles here discussing the nutritional, other nutritional, other nutrients that can help protect from pollution, and basically they're all antioxidants. Vitamin C, vitamin E, selenium, Certainly the omega-3 fats are also important. So what I'm suggesting, all the nutrients we encourage you to take to build your health as a whole can be very important to help you deal with pollution. In particular, pay attention to the maternal sacrificial antioxidant, which is ascorbate. It's very easy to use. There's some excellent vitamin C powders, and we prefer the ascorbate form because that's the form of vitamin C that's used by the body. It's very potent. You take a few half teaspoons of that a day, spread out throughout the day. It'll give you a great better chance of resisting the very deleterious effects of air pollution. In the meantime, may we all work for a cleaner planet, and we all may, we, may we all prosper and enjoy this wonderful environment we have.